YouTube, it's your boy D Hayes. I finally made it to YouTube. I've been getting a lot of questions from everybody asking me when I was gonna create a vlog, when I was gonna create my channel, and I'm finally here. I'm excited, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to come back for more and more videos. But today I'm gonna to kick things off with a quick little Q&A, just so you guys know a little bit about me, where I come from, the things I enjoy, and just hopefully this helps you guys see me from a different perspective rather than just from TikTok and Instagram. So let me get things started. Um, I asked you guys to message me on, on TikTok, on IG, on Snap, just questions that you guys had about me just so I can be able to answer them in this in this video. And I'm excited, let's get this thing rolling. So the first most common question I got from everybody is where you're from. And I'm from Tacoma, Washington, which is about 45 minutes from Seattle. Um, it was just honestly just a place where I loved growing up. A lot of fun, I met a lot of good people, a lot of good friends, coaches, everyone out there just, we produce a lot of good talent and it's just awesome just to be able to be from a place like that. Not many people know about us, but I'm telling you right now, we're on the rise right now. All the talent that's coming out right now, everyone's gonna know we are very, very soon. But I currently live in Cheney, Washington, which is about four hours uh, east of Seattle. I live out here because I play football at Eastern Washington. I played football actually for the last five years and um, I'm looking to relocate pretty soon. I'm, I'm tired of this little city. It's, it's very small here. It's a lot different from living in a place like Tacoma slash Seattle to living here, it's like, yo, what is this? For me, it's like, <laughs> it's a lot different, but I'm adjusting, I've been adjusted a long time ago, and just, it's time for me to be somewhere else. I need to be in a big city with a lot of people and a lot of fun, so, that's where I'm planning on going next. For the next question, my favorite TikToker, thank you. Thank you so much. What do you see yourself in five years, including career, kids, and relationship? In five years, I hope I'm in a completely different place. I hope that social media has really took another stance for me. I'm able to use that to help me out a lot in life. Um, I'm hoping that football has really gone into a whole different place than where it is now. Like I'm, I'm waiting for a call back, but whenever that call happens, I'm hoping that I'm still playing football for a team in five years. I hope that relationship wise, I have somebody in my life and we're strong, not only spiritually, but mentally and physically as a bond together. And I hope that kid wise, I have at least two kids. I love kids. Like, I mean, sometimes kids can be a pain in the butt, but I just hope that I really am able to have a beautiful family, just be able to take that next step. Because right now, I mean, I'm solo dolo doing it by myself, but in the future, I don't wanna be like that. I wanna have kids. I wanna be able to, you know, just live a great life with my family, be able to go home to a place where I know, like, wow, we really did that. We really worked hard for this. Not only me, but my partner as well. So I'm just hoping that in five years, I'm in a completely different place. I'm just living life and just having a really, really good life. Very successful, not having to worry about financials or anything like that. That's something that I really don't want to have to worry about moving forward. But that's just what the future, my future looks like. I'm hoping that that's what happens though. You never know. For the next question is, if I slid in your DMs, would you respond? Now this question is a bit difficult for me because it's like, I don't never like to ignore anybody or make them feel like I'm better than somebody else or like because I have a few followers that I have the authority to not respond to somebody. It's like I'm not on social media that much. I mean, I am, but then I'm not. Like I get a lot of DMs, a lot of messages and stuff. And sometimes it's just like, you really have to send me something that's gonna make you stand out from everybody else, you feel me? Like if everybody's putting hard eyes under my pictures and then you put something else that makes me be like, okay, you're creative and you're different. Because hard eyes, I don't really know, like there's not too many different ways you respond to a hard eye uh, comment. Like if somebody's putting a bunch of hard eyes under your picture and you're trying to respond to everybody, it gets, you, can, you run out of t different ways you can say thank you, you feel me? But then if somebody puts something that makes you think a little bit, you like, okay, now this person's creative and now you actually put in effort. And effort gets you noticed. And that's just a little bit of something that's really, so if you saw my DMs with some effort, rather than some basic stuff. Then you're gonna get a response and that's real. I mean, I swear, I'm not gonna slide in your DMs with some hard eyes. That's facts. I'm gonna slide in your DMs with something that's gonna make you be like, all right, yup, bet, <laughs> say less. That's all I need to hear right there. He's definitely trying to, trying to work for me. But the next question, just a quick question. How come not one of those comments do I see you say, you're beautiful too? Um, When people comment on my pictures, 
I don't really like to to say you're beautiful too back to them, not because they're not beautiful, because I don't want to say it to certain people and not say it to others. Because people scroll through my comments and there's a lot of critics on social media. I don't want people to feel like I'm only responding to certain people or certain groups or certain things like that. Like, oh, he only likes these type of girls. He, he won't respond to this type of girl. This or that. Nah, that's not, that's not who I am. I mean, I'm a real cool, laid back individual. And so I want to keep it to where everybody is equal and, not, and nobody, I'm not biased against nobody. So therefore, if like somebody's going to ask me or somebody's going to comment on my thing, I'm just going to keep it a bug with everybody and say thank you. I appreciate it because I really do appreciate all your comments. I appreciate the support. I appreciate you rocking with me, getting me to where I'm at right now on social media. I mean, I went from nothing in two months. I'm, 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 I'm going up there. So I appreciate all that. And I'm not going to sit over here and just thank you. You're beautiful too. Like you probably are very beautiful. And I'm not even going to say you're not because I don't know. For me, but I'm just not gonna just individualize certain individuals and so tell them that they're beautiful. Like I'm just not trying to really break people up into different groups like that. I'm not trying to get nothing started. I just don't want the critics to get rolling. I know how critics can be, and I'm not trying to have no critics on my back right now. I'm trying to keep the positivity going for as long as it can go. You feel me? Next question: You want a personal chef? Do you want a personal chef? Yeah, I want a personal chef. Like, what you mean? I eat so much food. I really just be at the house, man. I just be eating, eating, throwing down, eating, eating, working out, eating, eating again, eating, eating. Like, if I can get somebody just to be throwing down for me, shoot, that's a lot less work that I gotta do. So if any of y'all wanna come over here and chef it up for me, y'all can slide in the DMs right now. Let me know what's going on. Slide in the comments, let me know. Cause I need to come home to some home cooking meals when I'm out here grinding, working out every day. So let me know what y'all trying to do because I can really make this happen. Like, man, I love to eat though, no cap. Like, I do want a personal chef, especially in my future, I want a personal chef. I really think that that would really help me take my, my, my life to another level, help me be able to do things in life that I wasn't able to do before. Personal chef gonna help me on all different levels for sure. So if you want to be my personal chef, y'all know what the DMs are, y'all know what the comments is, go ahead and hit me up. Next question. Do you like snow bunnies? Do I like snow bunnies? Uh, I'm not even gonna answer that one. Feel me? Nah, I'm playing. Uh, I don't really, I don't really put people into specific categories. Um, if I vibe with you, then I vibe with you. If I rock with you, then I rock with you. Um, I don't really see it like that. Like, I'm not a type of person that be like, I'm not gonna mess with you because you're this race or because you're that. I'm sitting over here. I'm, I'm, I'm basing my, my likes off your vibe. You got a good vibe, you got a good personality, you a cool person, I'm gonna go ahead and rock with you. I don't care what race you is. Uh, you can be black, white, Hispanic, Latina, you can be whatever. And if I'm kicking it with you and your vibe is cool, you have a good personality, you just make me be able to feel like I can be myself around you and I can really just rock with you, then we gonna rock it out. Like it's not no snow bunnies. I thought it was hilarious that you said <laughs> Do you like snow buddies? Like who called himself a snow buddy? You feel me? Like I'm weak. I never even. <laughs> that, that's that's next level right there. Calling yourself a snow bunny, but nah, no cap though. I really mess with you no matter who you is or who you are. That's just what I am. That's just how I am. I don't really care. That's just how we gonna go down. So I mean, if I rock with you. I rock with you. If you got a vibe that I'm gonna rock with, go ahead and sign in the DMs too. Shoot your shot. Do your thing. Let's see what's going. What's gonna happen. And the last but not least question, you did. So who do you play for? Now, right now, I just finished playing for Eastern Washington. I played for five years. My season ended in November 2019. And uh, I trained for three months uh, around March 12 to like 14. They shut down all the gyms and everything. I was supposed to have a pro day on March 30th. However, with all that being shut down, it messed up a lot of my future plans. So I wasn't able to make face-to-face -face interactions with NFL teams, with, uh, with like scouts, all that. So that really like, they take it, they take that to heart. Like they want to be able to look at you and be like, okay, you're big. Yeah, you're big. I like, I like the way you look, I like the way your body's defined. You like, you're ready to come play for us. Like you're ready to do this, do that. But I wasn't able to do that because of COVID-19, which is a horrible situation in general. The pandemic has shut a lot of things down, a lot of businesses down, uh, changed a lot of people's futures. And I was one of those individuals who was struck by that but i mean the draft didn't go the way i wanted it to but that doesn't mean my chances of playing is over i mean there's still many different outlets i'm still in, in contact with teams i'm still talking to, 
to a bunch of different places. I mean, we'll see what happens in the near future, but as of right now, everything's on lockdown still. There's no football practices, there's no football teams, there's no scouts move, uh, going places. So, as of right now, I'm not playing with nobody. Uh, my agent told me to wait a little bit, uh, give it a few months, just to see when things are to settle back down, see how things are gonna open back up. And that's just pretty much what I'm doing. Um, taking things day by day and just letting it happen, being patient, keeping it in God's hands, because I'm a very faithful guy. And uh, seeing what happens after these next few months. I mean, I'm gonna be ready no matter what. But with that being said, I appreciate all of y'all coming through, checking out my video, you feel me? If you liked it, leave a thumbs up and comment down below other questions that I should answer in the next video because I will be doing another video here shortly. Comment questions, man, comment comments. Let me know how y'all feeling. Let me know, like, man, this is my first vlog ever. Like, ever. It's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be bad, but I need for y'all to go ahead and leave some comments, leave some questions. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Tell your friends to, to subscribe to me. Tell your mama to subscribe to me. Tell your grandma to subscribe to me. Tell your uncle to subscribe to me. I don't care. Everybody to subscribe. Let's get this thing rocking. Let's get this thing going. We're gonna be back. We're gonna be back with more questions, more answers, more story time. Man, I got story times for y'all. I got cool little things. I got the homies about to hop in some videos. We gonna have this thing jumping. All my fans and supporters, I love you. I appreciate you. This is Get inside. Yeah. Got a wet seat, bet when you ride. Yeah. I'm keeping my Jimmy on tide. Yeah. I can count that shit with no eye. You kill my partner, we try.